if you are facing an opportunity, a possibility to say yes to a job, a speaking engagement, a date, who knows, it could be any realm of life, and you're not sure whether you should move ahead with it, here's what you need to do. Get to a place where you're quiet, nothing's around, make sure that there's no technology, and I would invite people to close their eyes while they do this. So ask yourself, does the idea of moving ahead with this, of saying yes to this, make me feel expansive or contracted? In the nanosecond after you ask yourself that question, your body will have a physical response. So let's walk through what yeah, expansive. Everyone who's listening and watching right now, do this with us. Yes. Yeah. So expansive, and I'll just give some um, possibilities, but yours might show up differently. So expansive may actually be as though your shoulders are relaxing and your chest is opening up. Expansive may feel like even your physical body is moving ahead in space. Expansive may feel like a twinge or a tingle of excitement or joy or anticipation even if the notion of this feels intimidating to you or like something you've never done before there is a lightness a moving forward a ever so subtle visceral yes whether it shows up in word form or merely through the movement of your body that's expansive now let's look at the flip side if you ask yourself this question does the idea of saying yes to this make me feel expansive or contracted and in the nanosecond after you ask that question you find a pit in your stomach or a sense of dread or your shoulders kind of hunching forward or even your body just shaking back in space or your head saying no that's your intuition trying to save your butt and tell you don't move ahead with this. And here's why this is so important, Jay, because often when we're faced with an opportunity that our ego thinks we should move ahead with, right? Either there's a significant amount of money on the line or some type of opportunity that we feel will give us an edge, something beyond the competition or put us on a level that we're playing in a field that we're like, yeah, now we've really made it. And it looks good on paper, but something inside is like not right. That's when we need to listen to this most and use this test because I don't know if you've experienced this. When you override those little feelings of dread, even though everything looks so cool on paper, that's when we get ourselves into trouble and get off track. Often the way, way I describe it is because people always ask me, do I listen to my head or my heart? And I'm like, listen to your gut, like listen to the physical Yes. Like the physical indicator. There are neurons in there, yeah, which exactly. you know, yeah. that are that have so much intelligence. And I think that all of us have access to this innate wisdom, this inner knowing, if we have the courage to be still mm. and to listen to it. And again, that takes some practice in a culture that yeah. is constantly like this and this. And that's always like, well, what do you think I should do? Or, you know, what's the money or what's the opportunity or what am I going to get from this? Rather than trusting that you have this innate tool inside that is designed to guide you to your highest and best everything.